guys, we are in Loudoun, New Hampshire at Pleasant View. Uh, we are touring the Proven Winners Display Gardens right now and they are phenomenal. I thought you'd really like to see them because there's some amazing things. I mean, for instance, like right in the entry, look at this Petunia Tower. So amazing and eye-catching. This whole area right here, if you kind of take a look up, it's um, featuring their 2017 plant of the year, which is the Supertunia Vista bubblegum. And then this area also has um, the featuring the other 2017 combos. So let's go take a look at them quick. Right here on the way, you can see their beautiful cannas. Um, I believe most of these are new for next year, which is awesome. I'm really excited about that. They're really gorgeous. This is another 2017 combo here, which is called Backyard Barbecue. I thought this was cute. They've got one planted up in a grill right there. Perfect way to display that one. And if we swing around, I mean, you can just see right here all of the beautiful plants they've got going on. Along that wall, they've got a lot of monos, which uh, really highlight each plant. You can really see how they do, how they grow, and of course, the color. Um, and let's see, right around this side is the other combo for 2017. And this one is called Honey Bell. It's a really pretty mix. You can kind of, I think you might even be able to see the plants better down here in the shade. Supertunia honey, the campfire fire burst, um, Bidens, and what else is in there? There's a super bells. Can't remember. Yellow chiffon, super bells. It's a really neat mix, kind of different. Uh, this way right here, I just love all of this. Color blocks planted everywhere. And that's something that we did a little bit of at our house this year, at our new house, and next year I'm planning on doing a whole bunch of it. Because even though annuals, you have to replant them every single year, it's so, it's so worth it. Because just the color that they bring is just fantastic. All right, we've got some of the really neat foliage plants in here. They're um, highlighting some new varieties, black pearl hookera. Look at that, you guys. Look at that foliage. And this area is just really neat because I love to use foliage too in my garden, um, highlight it quite a bit. So it's really neat to see it planted all together like this. And then there's the biggest lawn chair I've about ever seen. <laughs> right here, we've got an edibles garden. So it's showing um, some of the herbs and um, edibles. There's peppers and zucchini and things planted in there along with some ornamentals. So there's some annuals in there and just different ways you can really kind of make your vegetable garden pretty too because there's no reason why it can't be just as pretty as the rest of your garden but this shows it off really nicely really pretty hydrangeas everywhere i'm super jealous of the hydrangeas here that these are bobo full of bloom and there's quite a few people it's kind of all hands on deck today they're kind of putting finishing touches on things i'm um, getting ready for the next crowd that's coming through today this um, event started yesterday and they had kind of it was their key account day um, so it was um, open to to people that they do a lot of business with and today it's open to a bigger portion of the industry and then tomorrow is their consumer day and that's the day that i get to do a little presentation i'm going to be talking about fall containers so i'm excited i love this idea i actually took pictures of this for the nursery back at home they've color coordinated all of the windows and window boxes with the plants that they've got in them which i think is super neat so let's take a look look at this yellow one there's some really pretty ideas on how to do more monochromatic um, things which you know sometimes we forget about that just playing off of the same color to make something awesome Ooh, this one's neat look at this and we've got the sweet potato vine we've got mint we've got sage there's thyme here um, yeah this must be baby tut or prince tut right here um, just a gorgeous mix and you don't even have any blooms in that i love it so here are a bunch of hanging baskets they're showing some combinations and some just you know planted up just with the same plant beautiful way to display them i think and these pathways you guys when we got here they were just putting these in i mean like all of these gardens were just i think there were some obviously some existing plants some big trees and things um, some of their shrubs and perennials but they kind of like redo and revamp this area all the time and make it super special every single year. So I think that's really cool. A lot of work. Look at this bloom. Summerific cherry cheesecake hibiscus. Blooms as big as your face. Awesome. So this for me has to be the highlight. Look at all the petunia towers. It's just such a neat idea. Like totally different from just containers or hanging baskets. 
Uh, and they've even got like drip irrigation worked in there so that they're kind of self-contained. It's really, um, they kind of take care of themselves. It's a great idea. Okay, and right down here, they've kind of focused on um, their supers. So the super bell, super bean, and super tunia. Um, beautiful stuff beautiful plants and there's also sweet potato vine which we'll show you let's come this way also a bunch of the different combinations that they've got i love seeing them all together it kind of gives me some great ideas for next year i've taken pictures of a bunch um, like this one i love this this is such a pretty combination i'm a total sucker for coral peachy colored pink um, and purple so I, I don't think i've ever put together anything that looks kind of like that so i'm gonna remember that one and this is the Isle of Sweet Potato Vine. How striking is that? So there you go, guys. There's kind of an overview of the gardens. Obviously, there's tons of stuff in here. I wish I could show you everything, every little plant and every little bed, but there's start, people starting to show up, so I think we're gonna stop. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.